It's summertime in Ohio, and I'm continuing my journey on towns along Lake Erie. And in this video, we're going to check out the Edgewater neighborhood in Cleveland. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Living in Cleveland. I'm Patty, Patty sells CLE, and I make videos about all things Northeast Ohio, Northwest Ohio, and even down south. You know the drill. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave some comments. I love them. Okay, <clears throat> I've been traveling around Lake Erie. It's summer, although you wouldn't feel it. You wouldn't know it with the weather we've had. Uh, but I've done, I've done Vermilion. I've done uh, Huron. And now I'm heading back to Cleveland, and I'm going to cover the Edgewater neighborhood. It's a very teeny-weeny little neighborhood in Cleveland that is right next to downtown in Lakewood. I think I did one of my very first videos right during the pandemic, right when it started, was on the Edgewater neighborhood. Uh, so I thought it was a good good time to get back out there and look at the beautiful homes and put another video out there about it because it is the 4th of July weekend and it's raining out. Lovely. And it, well, today's only Thursday. So Edgewater, it's a little teeny neighborhood. It's, it's almost like a triangle and I'm going to have the map up here. So it's a little triangle. Obviously, it sits right on the edge of the water. And it spans from west 117th, which is the border of Cleveland and Lakewood, all the way to west, I can't remember, west 85th Street. And then it goes down south to a little bit of Madison. So it's just that little bit of area. Um, but it includes, um, it's right next to the Edgewater Park. So I have a lot of footage of the Edgewater Park, even though it's not really considered because there's not a neighborhood, right? People don't live at the park. But I have a ton of footage of the park. Um, and I just wanted to do some f footage of wow, the beautiful homes you can get in Cleveland. You don't have to go out to Shaker. You don't have to be out in Bay Village. There are some beautiful homes, very stately, um, along Edgewater and then Clifton. You have cute little shops right on the border of 117th. And it's on the Cleveland side. You have this cute little grocery store called Lucky's. With all kinds of cool stuff in there. You have your Chipotle. Um, across the street, there's this restaurant called Landmark, some of the best wings I've ever had. Uh, so lots of little bars, little um, areas, you know, little exercise areas like yoga, I think I saw, or Pilates. Um, and I think the best part of this area is the location. There's not only are there beautiful homes that are, you know, they're probably pretty pricey. There's not really one for sale right now. Um, <clears throat> everything is pending, I just looked. But there are condominiums. My dad actually used to live in the Edgewater area. He was like second from the top, but he had a beautiful um, downtown facing wraparound balcony. And we would go there to watch the fireworks. So lots of condos in the area if you're not looking for a big house. And the shoreway is right there. And what the shoreway is, it used to be 50 miles an hour when I was a kid. And in fact, I got on the shoreway today and I had to remind myself, oh my gosh, it's 35 miles an hour. But it takes you right downtown. And it also takes you, so you can be downtown if you live in the Edgewater area, in seven minutes. Um, and then it also will take you to Edgewater Park. And I've never really, so there's an, an upper area of the park and then there's the down below area of the park. So I started up in the up, up above area and you're gonna see the Cleveland sign. Everybody flocks to the Cleveland sign. So they go there and they, they get their pictures taken with it. In fact, my website has me in front of the Cleveland sign. Uh, but you can park up there and walk down. And because my kids are grown, they've put so much money into this park. It's owned by the Cleveland Metro Parks and I've done several videos of the Cleveland Metro Parks. And there's this huge kids playground and you'll see a footage of it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then you can't really drive to the down below part where the actual beach is. You gotta get onto the shoreway and it's got its own separate entrance, but it's huge. There's the Edgewater Yacht Club. There's a fishing pier and just the green space. I remember my kids used to have field trips and they bring in all these events. And then you go into, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where the beach is, the, it's our concession stand. And I was starving, so I got a black bean burger and it was so good. Um, and they sell beer, they have ice cream, lots of like, little snacks, chicken nuggets, they hot dogs. Um, just a beautiful beach. There was probably, I think four lifeguards were on duty. And even today we're dealing with the 
Canadian wildfire smoke. And unfortunately, I could not show you the beautiful views of downtown Cleveland from the beach um, because it, you just can't see it. But normally you can just be at the beach and be in the water and just have views of downtown Cleveland and it's absolutely awesome. But, you know, it's not as bad as it was yesterday. So there are a lot of people at the beach, you know, it's, the, it's only a Thursday. So, and we're looking forward to some nice weather this weekend. Uh, but then if you keep going, back towards the fishing pier and there's another concession stand and then you go past the Edgewater Yacht Club which that place was packed today there's tons of sailboats unfortunately they had like a little privacy screen you can't really see it um, but if you keep going back there there's Wendy Park uh, and then what we call Whiskey Island and there's a bar back there and we used to go there like that used to be our Sunday thing they would have bands and <clears throat> we we just have food fun you could bring the kids uh, but Wendy Park, I know my kids have volleyball there. Um, just so much to do in that area. So if you're looking to explore some Cleveland neighborhoods, I think you might want to check out Edgewater. It's just absolutely beautiful. And to be right there by the water, close to Lakewood, close to downtown, you have the Shoreway, you're right down the road on 117th, you have I-90. Go a little bit further, you have 71. So great access to everything. So, you know, if you're looking, you're in the market, give me a call. This is what I do. This is my passion. And I hope you enjoy Edgewater.